everyone i am amin farhan of dev mana semi public school we have been assigned an activity in english by shiva today we are going to read the chapter of leo tolstoy leo tolstoy was a famous russian author and one of the world's greatest novelist some of his remarkable creations are war and peace and anna karenina may i now invite my friends to read a short story named elias written by leo tolstoy let us read a short story by leo tolstoy about a man called elias there once lived a man called elias in ufa elias father died after one year of elias marriage he did not leave him much properties Elias then had only seven maids, two cows, and about a score of sheep. He and his wife worked from morning till night, rising earlier than others and going late to bed. His possessions increased year by year. Elias gradually acquired great wealth. At the end of twenty-five years, he had two hundred horses, one fifty herds of cattle, and one thousand two hundred sheep. He hired men and women to work for him. They tended his flocks, herds, made his mares and cows, and made cumis, butter, and cheese. Elias had an abundance of everything and everyone in the district envied him. Influential people heard of him and wanted to be acquainted with him. People from distant places visited him. He welcomed everyone and gave them food. Elias had three children, two sons and a daughter. He married them all off. When he was poor, his sons had worked with him. They looked after the flocks and herds themselves. But when Elias grew rich, they got spoiled. Eldest was keeping a proud, and the younger one stopped obeying his father. So they lived separately. Elias gave his son a house and some of the cattle. This diminished his wealth. Soon, many of his sheep died due to a disease. This was followed by a bad harvest, and the Kyrgyz stole his best herd of horse. His wealth decreased, and he had to sell off his carpets, furs, saddles, tents, and the remaining cattle. His son, who had parted, went to a far off country, and his daughter was dead. He and his wife Shamshamagi had grown old. There was no one to look after them. Their neighbor Muhammad Shah lived comfortably and was a good man. He had pity on Elias and remembered the hospitality of Elias and said, "Come and live with me, Elias. You and your old woman." In summer, you can work in my mellow garden as much as your strength allows, and in winter, feed my cattle. When you need anything, tell me, and you shall have it. Elias thanked his neighbor. He and his wife began to work as laborers. and did all the work sincerely they found it hard in the beginning but got used to the work they were not lazy at all one day muhammad shah's relatives came to visit him from far after preparing and offering them food elias finished the work muhammad shah told one of his guests about elias and he said that he was aware of elias and his fame Then Muhammad Shah told his guests that the old man and his wife worked for him. The guests were shocked and said, "For you, don't let me be." One man it slipped another it sat down. Does not the old man grieve over all that he has lost? So the guests called Elias and his wife and spoke to them. Elias said, "If I were to tell you what is happiness and what is misfortune, you would not believe me. You had better ask my wife." His wife said, "My old man and I lived for fifty years, looking happiness and not finding it. When we were rich, 
we had no time to talk to one another. We spent much time looking after the visitors, getting work done from our labels and worrying about our cattle. Besides, my old man and I used to disagree, yell and have a row. Now, my husband and I live peacefully with nothing to quarrel about. We have nothing to worry about but just think how best to serve our master. We work as much as we can and we get food and clothes. We have fur to wear and fuel to burn when it is cold. And we have all the time to talk and the time to pray. At last, we have found happiness. The guests initially laughed but soon realized that what Elias was saying was indeed the truth of life. Thanks to all for listening the story. I would also like to express my gratitude to my teacher and friends for the support and cooperation. Thank you.